Okay, as you can see, uh, I've got uh, temporarily got uh, power being supplied to it by the uh, by the computer cable right here, and some USB cable on the on the back of the Arduino Mega, and that is actually supplying power to the motor control board. Although I would suggest do not try to run the motor control board uh, with just power going to the computer; you could damage. The, uh, your computer, you could damage the Arduino, you could damage the motor control board. So don't don't attempt to run the motors uh, with with just this power going to it. Um, anyway, um, while I'm thinking about this, this pin right here, what this does? Watch, you see the little green green light right there? It's on. And when I pull this pin out, uh, what that does is it is no longer supplying voltage to the motor control board through the Arduino Mega. And that's why I say uh, you could you could do it either way. You could you could provide power right back here on this on this jack right here to the uh, Arduino and have it supply power to the R, to the uh, motor control board or you could feed the power directly into the motor control board and um, and then have it power the Ar Arduino. And that would probably be my the preferable way to, to do it. But anyway, um, as you can see, we got everything wired up. We got our got our compass, got our compass. That's all wired up right there. Um, you can see the uh, Bluetooth module. It's it's uh, blinking right there. I'm not sure if you can see the little blinking light right there. And we got our GPS module. You can see the little blue light right there. It's blinking. Now, what that little blue light means is, is we're getting NEMA sentences from the satellite. It's uh, actually uh, receiving signals from the satellite, so it is locked on. It knows our, our location. Now, the first time that you plug in this GPS module, it's going to take several. It could take up to, say, 10 minutes for this thing to start blinking, so don't get impatient with it. Uh, if it doesn't start blinking right away, I'm um, just going to have to give it, some, give it some time. But right now, every about one second, it is receiving a NEMA sentence, which is showing what our location is. And so now we got our, our um, app from that I got on um, uh, App Inventor. This is my, my design here. And what you want to do is you just want to connect up and our Bluetooth module, I've got several Bluetooth module. This one right here ends in number 23. So click on that one and then you'll see the Bluetooth module. Bluetooth connected. It is now, the, instead of it blinking now, it is a solid, solid red light. And if I were to come up here and press uh, GPS info, it is gonna here is your GPS location. Tell us what our GPS location is. I'm not going to show you that right now because I don't want you knowing exactly where I live at. And waypoints complete. So next we have uh, we can disconnect from Bluetooth up here. Uh, we can click on our GPS info, which will um, read out our display right here. Show us latitude and longitude of, of where we're at. Uh, we can set a waypoint and gps location set what that's going to do is uh we can we can set um waypoints so in words we want to to uh have a waypoint here and have a waypoint over here a waypoint there a waypoint there and then we can have uh multiple waypoints and so we can make a, a complete circle or, or whatever what have you so and what we need to do Oops, sorry, hold on a second. Uh, what we need to do is when we get done setting all our way, waypoints, we click waypoints complete. We click done, and then we can tell it to uh, go to our first waypoint, and it will go to the first waypoint. And then when it's done with there, then you can click it again, go to the second waypoint, and so on and so forth. When you're done, you can uh, clear all the GPS waypoints. Clear all of, all of your waypoints and start back over with with new ones if you want. And like I said, we got our forward, left, stop, right, reverse. We got uh, turn left 90 degrees, turn right 90 degrees. We got turn around, so it would you know turn turn 180 degrees the opposite direction. We got our uh, GPS, or I'm sorry, our um, compass setting. We can uh, 
Um, Compass heading set. And you can see right there it says that um, it is 30, it's pointing at 39 degrees. All right, now here, let me, um, this is the whole reason why I wanted, to, wanted you to see this. If I turn our, our compass is sitting up here and see if we can do our set our heading. Set. And what I want to do is I want to try to find compass heading set. 360 degrees or, set. or zero degrees somewhere compass about. Heading set. Compass heading set. Okay, we're at zero degrees right there. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a little card here so I know the position of our of our robot. So if I turn this robot around, it should our reading on here. If I turn it around, it should say 180 degrees because if I turn it exactly the opposite direction, it should be 180 degrees the opposite direction, right? Okay. So I'm going to turn the car around and set it down on that card right there so it's positioned in exactly the opposite direction and I'm going to press the set heading button again compass heading set and you can see it says it's at 205 degrees not 180 degrees so what's going on I mean if if I need my robot to turn around and go exactly the opposite way we either got one one of several problems either our either our compass is getting some kind of interference from somewhere which very well could be happening in here with all the electronics and everything or the most likely suspect is our compass needs to be calibrated and that's what the next set of uh, videos is going to be all about is calibrating this compass and it's, that's why i say this is probably the most tedious uh, part of this whole project is is this compass right here but once we get the compass working right then everything else will will just kind of fall into place so we got most everything ready we got we got our uh our base right here our platform we're working on we got our got our uh, um arduino mega uh we got the blue um i'm sorry the motor control module we got our bluetooth module we got our gps module and we've got our compass all installed and everything wired up so as far as wiring goes this is pretty much everything we need our you know as far as basics go to have our gps module and i'm also going to show you about how to um, um install the software um i'll make links to all that and everything in uh, the next next set of videos so i'll show you where to go to to download the software to install it on the arduino mega and then i'll also show you where to go to to download um the app for your phone so you can have every everything that you need all right well thanks for watching and stay tuned